You're listening to Slater and Marjo in the morning on Live 95.9. It's 848 and we've got a studio full of uh, 12 and 13 year old Little Leaguers here with the Pittsfield American team who are uh, escorted back by a local police and fire the other day after um, after their loss in uh, to Coventry 3-2 to two, and uh, but we're, we're the community support around these kids was just phenomenal and I felt like the whole entire city was watching on ESPN the other day. Even the county. I mean, you know, I, I grew up in North County and I had friends from high school who were posting like, you know, it's so cool that a team right here from Berkshire County is on ESPN. It was a big deal. Yeah. But I do have to agree with Slater, you guys look bigger on TV. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to lie right. to you. Right. Uh, it's true. It's, it's, it's kind of a weird and funky phenomenon. But they don't have cleats on either. Yeah, the maybe that's it. cleats add a little bit. Maybe that's it. All right. So, uh, Joe Scott, Nick, I had a chance to uh, talk to you the other day and... Uh, you said, uh, who am I talking to? And I was like, well, you don't know who I am? And, no, uh, and I want to welcome you to the 95.9 studio in uh, Slater Marjo in the morning. You've been coaching for a long time. Uh, yeah, I have. Thanks for having us here. Um, since 1999, I've been doing Little League. Right. Um, so you obviously had, a, had children in playing baseball, uh, you know, your own children, I sh- you know, I mean to say. And, I only uh, had a son one year in 2000. Right. And we were fortunate enough to go to Bristol that year. It was a blast. The city of Pittsfield has a really good history with baseball for some reason. I mean, you know, just a, a, a history of good players. Well, and, the first written record of baseball was in the city of Pittsfield, Slater. Thanks for that. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so wh- why did you continue to coach and, and remain with uh, these kids? Um, I, I always, uh, I had coached when I was uh, a teenager. I had helped down in Lenox in Babe Ruth, and uh, I just like it, and to be able to, um, you know, help the kids and, and uh, you know, been, having done this so long, when you get to coach them, they kind of believe what you tell them because, you know, you've done it for so long. You know what to expect. You know what possible um, experiences they may come upon. And, um, you know, it, it, I, I like it because I can now go to a high school game or a Babe Ruth game and watch my players play. That's the fun of it for me. Antonio Scalise, uh, or Alex Scalise, had reached out on uh, Facebook just before you guys arrived and said, Antonio wishes he was with all the boys this morning in studio. He's getting on the ice right now in Montreal at a goalie camp. He is definitely uh, missing his teammates in the community support right now. Right from one sport to the next, I huh? To, I uh, to he, didn't, he didn't waste any time. Uh, right. I think... Uh, we had a little meeting at ma- Mascots uh, due to the Mazio brothers. Uh, they invited us up, and uh, right after that little get-together, Antonio was off to Montreal. There are 94 Little Leaguers in the city of Pittsfield? No, there's uh, 94 times two. Okay, so there's the, so- there's the south, which is uh, the ass on the hat, and then there's the north. Wow, it's the American and the Nationals. That's what I meant. So 12 <laughs> or 13 of them make it to the All-Stars. 12 or 13 per league, yeah. Right. Yep. South is in here with us, and they uh, made it all the way as, as state champs, just shy of New England champs and making it to the Little League World Series. It's an Why? accomplishment for an 13 accomplishment. kids. That's right. Absolutely. All right, so who's going to step up to the microphone first? Who's, who's the star of the, the, the group here? They're all they're all pushing you this way. He's right. like, oh, okay, I guess. All right, so this is the this is the kid who hit it 400 feet. There's no way he's 12 years old. It's a giant conspiracy theory. Uh, and and <laughs> what is, what is your according to Barstool Sports? What's your name, young man? My name's Evan Blake. Evan Blake, uh, you do look taller on TV. I gotta I gotta say, yeah. I mean, he's still pretty tall. He's the same height right. as I am. All right, so when they intention, so you're obviously a good hitter and, and a good pitcher. I watched you uh, just the other day on TV. So when they intentionally walk you, do you do you like kind of have like a David Ortiz like yeah that's right I'm 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 great. I mean not really a little bit but it's just getting on base so just have my other teammates drive me in so. All right and how far did you actually hit that ball over the scoreboard? So, so I mean, we're uh, hearing conflicting reports that 400 feet, some say 500, some say it was the longest ball hit ever, Ted Williams style. You know what I mean? To be honest, I don't know how far it was, but they said it was the one of the farthest they've ever seen at that field. Wow. That's did, awesome. Did you knew when you hit it, it was it was gone? Like yeah, immediately? definitely. Right. Uh, tell me about the bats. Uh, they're they're a little less like a little less pop than they were some yeah, years ago. 
yeah, they're a little, they're not that bad though, but they definitely changed a lot from last year because last year they used to be like composite, like, and not 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 a lot of doubles as much as home runs. So right now, what size bat do you use? Do you use thir- uh, 32, 22, drop time. Thirty-two, twenty-two. Can you use a thirty-three in little league? You can. Really? All right. Would you rather hit or would you rather pitch? Or would you rather play shortstop? Because you made a couple of plays at short the other day. Um, definitely hit because I mean I like to hit a lot, but fielding the same. So they're equal. All right. You grew up here in Pittsfield. Yes. Evan Blake, everybody. What's your uh, what's your number on the back? What'd you say? What's the number on your jersey? Eight. Number eight. All right. Who's the funniest one on the team? Right. Who's like Tommy. the jokes are? They- oh, easy. They pulled him right All up. Right, so what is your name? Tommy Mullen. Tommy Mullen. And what was your little nickname? All you guys had nicknames on ESPN the other day. I don't know. Every day they just call me something different. Right. Well, what's the one you said on TV? Uh, what was it? I don't even know. Mm. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, what do you guys, hey, what do you guys call it him today? Sorry. Were you this peanut butter guy? Ah, all right. So the kid comes up there and he's like, I tell you a joke about peanut butter, but I can't spread it. Is that? Oh, yeah, that was a good I laughed. That was you, dude. I did laugh. Excellent. I did. I chuckled. Well, it's important to have like that kind of clown on the team. You know, keep everybody's morale up when you guys are, you know, maybe Uh, down. So what position do you play? Tommy, pay attention. Tommy, quit joking around. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. What what team or what position do you play? Uh, First base. First base. Nice. And uh, what was your batting average? I don't even know. All right. <laughs> did you enjoy? How did how did it feel being on TV? Did it even did it even bother you at all? Oh, I or? loved it. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> I loved every second of right. it. Have you get any endorsements? Uh, Nike reached out to you. Uh, Seiko uh, watches or anything like that? Or? No. No. Who said they got a hundred more followers on Instagram? I heard that. He's not, He's got, not here. Uh, I got like eighty. You got eighty more followers j- from being on ESPN. That's like pretty cool. Like how many did you get, Evan? 450. All right, Evan's bragging again. 450. That was a very Camden. humble brag, though. We can yeah, appreciate right, right, that. Right, right, right. Camden on our team got over 1,000. Who did? Really? Camden Zerbato. Right. Is is he is he here? No, he's on vacation. Right. He's uh, Cam. Yep. Yeah, and uh, Cam uh, lost his dad nine months ago, and that was you know a sad story. And he was uh, I'm sure he'd make his dad proud being on TV and playing baseball. And, Absolutely. Um. All right. Who's up? Who's up next? Who's up next? Who's the burrito basher? Who's the we burrito need, guy? We need to talk. Right. We need just best nickname on the team, ladies right. and gentlemen. Exactly. Just step up, young man. What's your name? What's your name, hon? Uh, my name is Walker Abdallah. Walker Abdallah is your now. Your dad is is a uh, Hot Harry's uh, Association. Yeah. What's his name? Samir. Abdallah. Samir. Well, of course, we know Samir. He drops mm-hmm. off burritos every Christmas time. We lo- we loved the uh, burrito basher nickname and the signs. It was very right. good. We he's, had a, we you. had a good laugh. He drops off, when he, when your dad drops off burritos, he drops off like eight. You know, he's not cheap. He's not doesn't you know just drop off like two. <laughs> you, know, you know, he comes with a big box. So, what position do you play? I play right field. Right field. And um, what was your batting average? I don't know. No. Did, did you make any? Um, how does how did how did it feel to go you know that far and be on TV? Did it felt really good. Yeah. yeah. Now, did you guys like? You guys had to live in what? What did they put you in dorms, or did you have host families, yeah, or where? Dorms. You were in dorms. Was that fun, or were you guys homesick? That was fun. It was fun. Yeah, you liked it. it? How'd you guys? Do you guys eat? Do they give you good food and stuff? Yeah. All right. What? Yeah. What's the cell phone thing I'm hearing? You guys couldn't. You guys couldn't had... use social media. All right. I so... would don't know what I would do with myself right. if so I was you guys. You couldn't <laughs> use social media at all, or it was yeah, like it was a time cut off. We couldn't use it at all. All right, but then Coach Scott was telling me on the phone that at ten thirty you had to get rid of your phone. Right? Yeah. All right. Did you guys fall asleep easily? I mean, you had a lot of nerves going on. Not really. Not really. All right. All right. Who was who wanted to come up when I said he has the funniest nickname on the team? This little guy, right? I can tell I like right. this kid already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's, what's your, your name? name? Nick Brindle. Nick Brindle. Oh yeah, I, I remember seeing you. And what's your nickname? Nikki Singles. Nikki Nikki Singles. All right, all right. So like, that's all you hit. You've ever hit a double before, triple anything? Have you yeah, ever hit I've hit the, those, but mostly hit, I hit singles. If you hit for the cycle, any no. home runs. All right, I've so. hit one home run in my career. All right, one home run in, in my career. career. <laughs> I love it. I <laughs> right. love it. Uh, do you you're gonna go? So what's next for Pittsburgh? Is it Babe Ruth is next, right? That's how I remember it as growing up. Um, and what what did you what are you gonna take from this experience? Um, Nikki Singles. It's just a great experience to be with all my friends in the dorm. And to play baseball on ESPN. Um, baseball definitely your favorite sport. Yeah. Do you play any other sports? Basketball. All right. You good at that? Yeah. All right. So are we Red Sox fans or are we Yankees fans? Yeah. Orioles. 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 All right. We got it. We got a sixty-five games out of first, huh? <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> this close. He says this yeah. close. Um, all right. Who's up next? Why doesn't the Orioles fan come on up here? All right, yeah, right. <laughs> right. You know the Red Sox just swept the Orioles, right? Uh, yeah. Right. Don't uh, talk about that. He's like, whatever. I was on ESPN last weekend. Right. I recognize you, I think. What's your name? Uh, Jake Duquette. Jake Duquette. Are oh, you part of the... Du- oh, that's why you're an Orioles fan. Dan Duquette. Isn't he the GM or something? Right. And he does the sports camp around here. Yeah. Right. A lot of history in this area with baseball. As I told you, yes. Right. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> so what, did, what position did you play? Uh... Well, I'm on the bench, but I play left field. Right. What do you mean you're on the bench? Like, like oh, there's only nine of you, right? Yeah. Right. So did you? So so did you? You can, did you? You got to play though, right? It, yeah. Okay. Right. Well, I, yeah, I, Slater. Didn't you see him out there? Right. I understand. No, I didn't. Well, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> He's out there. Right. And uh, you enjoy fielding, uh, or or do you enjoy being at the plate? Hitting. All right. So now, if I remember correctly, so little league is 60 feet down the line, right? Excuse me, to the bags. I don't know. Sixty feet, yeah. forty. How fast are these pitchers throwing? Because there was there was like I, there was conflicting. When Evan was on the mound, I saw something like ninety two. I'm like ninety two. Well, that's equivalent to MLB. So that's like, what I it's thought. like seventy around there. Right. Um. All right. Who's up next? Come on up. Step up. You're closest right. to the mic, my friend. This kid's got a gigantic smirk on his face. What's your name? Ben Jacob. Ben Jacob. In, in uh, what, what position do you play? Left field. All right. Can you, you got a good arm? Who's got the best arm on the team? Evan. Oh, okay. All, right. All right. We've heard enough about you. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. I'm totally messing right. with you guys. And what are you going to What are you going to take from this experience? I don't know. You don't know? Do you remember it? Was it all a blur? I remember it, but. What was your favorite part of going to Bristol? Probably uh, being on yeah. ESPN. Right. That's pretty wild. Have you guys watched the game? Did obviously yeah. people recorded it for yeah. you, and you guys got to watch. Yeah. Right. And you're you're gonna remember this forever. I mean, back in the day, if we were on TV, it would be VHS. You guys are crystal clear, high def. You mean you're gonna be seeing this forever? Yeah. You'll be showing this to your kids. You know what I mean? They're not. It's not gonna magically go away one day. Did Did the rain delay make it worse for you guys, or were you excited to have a little bit more time, or did you just want to play that game on? Made, made it worse because we were ready to play, and then we kind of kind of messed us up because mm-hmm. then we had to wake up early in the morning to play. Just like you had to wake up early in the morning to come here. Do any guys are you superstitious at all? Some of the some of you guys had like holes in your socks or something like that. I saw on ESPN. No, no. no. Uh, we're on with the Pittsfield American uh, All Star Team um, State Champs here on uh, Live ninety five point nine with us later. Marge, we've got a whole studio full of uh, full of players. And uh, who's up next on the microphone? All right, come on Step over. Step on up. What's your name? Roshan Warrior. Right. What do you, what position oh, you're you? you're Katie Higgins' little brother, aren't you? Oh, I've heard <laughs> yeah. a lot about you. Right. What position do you play? Third base. All right. The hot the hot Connor, as we used to call it in Boston growing up. Right. Um, what are you going to take from this experience? What did you like most about it? Just hanging out with my teammates. Hanging out with your teammates. Uh, any rituals or anything like uh, like Joe Boo from Major League or anything like that happening? No. I don't no. think they've seen Major League. Have you guys right. seen the movie Major League? Yeah. You ever seen Major League? Yeah, who said yeah, right? What's your favorite baseball movie? You into that at all? Like, um, No? I don't know. Right, do you just basically... I can't put them maybe, on the spot like that. Well, maybe The Sandlot. Sandlot. Sandlot's a good one. Do you feel like you were born with a natural talent to play baseball? Like, do you feel like you were just naturally better than your friends growing up? I mean, the guys who didn't make the, uh, the no. team? No. No? No. He's great with kids, in case you can't tell, Joe. <laughs> great with well, so that's, a, that's a legit question, right? Sure. Right. Sure, okay. yeah. Um, all right. Well, who's next on... on uh, Who hasn't been uh, up to the mic? Who's, don't who's be shy, guys. Mic? Don't be shy. You're all going to talk, so... You know. We're going to force you to. What's so. your name? Owen Salvatore. Owen Salvatore. I've, you were in the paper a couple times. Yeah. All right. You were the one who was called out. You were the overturn call guy. Oh, yeah. That right. happened to me a lot. Pretty right. much every single time I got right. on base. Uh, I somehow got out from a bad call. That's right. frustrating, so, huh? A replay. You, if I remember correctly, in the bottom of the sixth, there was one out. You had uh, the uh, the first baseman had missed the throw from the shortstop, right? Mm-hmm. And so so the first base coach told you to go to second, or did you make the decision on your own? I made the decision. Right. Do you regret making that decision? Mm. Of course not, right? No, not really. Right. You beat that tag. Yeah, just right. my momentum brought me up. Right. Hey, you know what? Stuff happens. You guys still made it that far. It was a great game. Uh, yeah. So I have a lot to be proud of. Right. You guys are extremely proud of yourself, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Right. I mean, to keep, crazy to, 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 get that far. to keep your composure, to make plays, to not make an error. I mean, that takes, that, that's, that's good coaching and it's good mindset for, you know, for you kids just to, 
mean, you guys are 12. You know, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of pressure. That's what, all I could think watching you guys on TV. I'm like, these kids are 12 years old. Like, this <laughs> is a lot of pressure. Yes, yes. But yes. most importantly, you guys look like you had fun out there. Yes? Yeah. What position do you play? Center field. Center field. Yeah. And pitch. And pitch. And pitch. And pitch. Right. Who's your favorite pitcher, like, right now in the major league? I don't even know. You I don't even follow know. You don't follow? All right. Do you follow? Not really. Do you have a favorite team at all? Yeah, the Yankees. The Yankees. Yeah. <laughs> Someone just made a fart. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was just later. Uh, that was, yeah. You're no, trying just... to pass it off on these poor boys. Don't do that. <laughs> really? All right. So who's up next? On, who hasn't uh, been up to the mic, guys? All right. I know you. I recognize you. This guy's name's Cam. Right? You're Cam. All right. Yeah. Is it? Is it? Is it? How do you say your last name? Syme. Syme. All right. Someone was saying Syme, and then I was like, oh, look at the guy on ESPN was saying Syme. You pitched at the end of the uh, right. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, do you what position do you play uh, when you're not pitching? Uh, shortstop or center. Right. What what do you what do you prefer to play in an ideal situation? The coach says, "All right, uh, Cam, you're going to be starting blank today. Where do you want?" I usually like playing shortstop, but I like both. Right. Do you have a favorite shortstop in the league right now? Someone you uh, want to be like or anybody you know? No, not really. Wow. Like when I was 12, we all we had baseball. Do you have, do you guys baseball? Do you know what baseball cards are? Do you guys collect baseball cards? <laughs> do you know what baseball? Always- all right. See? We, we Tommy always, Singles like, has got the always, baseball always, cards. You know, we, when we played as 12 year olds, whatever. We always, <laughs> you know, I'm just kidding. We would tell, you know, like, you know, I was always like, you know, like Mike Greenwell when I got up and played, you know. Yeah. I, mean? I didn't know, if, but some of these players don't really, yeah. All right. So what are you going to take from all this? Hmm? What are you going to take from this experience? Being on ESPN, TV, uh, the whole thing. And- it's amazing to, ju- to just, like, make it that far and have this experience your whole life. Are you proud of uh, your, your, your brothers here? Yeah. I'm proud of my team. You're gonna play. You're gonna continue to play, right? Yeah, I'm gonna play Babe Ruth. You want to play like professionally? Is that is that your goal? All of you guys is to play professionally? Yeah. All the while knowing that you may not make it. You know, it's all that's a that's a tough. You know, and not to get you know kind of let down, but you gotta you gotta go for it. Just giving these kids a harsh reality here today, huh, Slater? <laughs> um. All right. Who's up? Who's up next? Thanks, Kim. Who's up? Who's up next? Come on down. All right. So you're you're of you're kind of tall. Or, yeah. Right. All right, what's your name? I'm Ben Cornish. And where do you play? Or what position uh, you play? I'm the backup right fielder. Backup right fielder. I mean, uh, what do you what, what are you going to take from uh, from all this? Do you like being on TV and uh, yeah, it was fun. I just liked playing with my uh, friends and enjoying the experience on ESPN. Is there anything you didn't like about this whole thing? Is uh, there is there a negative side to this? I can't imagine there is, but it, you know, if there is, you're going to bring it out. <laughs> The bags were terrible. The field, I didn't like it. All right, so Sorry, when, you can be honest. Right, when we we're played, okay there was like a metal stake, probably about mm, maybe about a foot long, maybe not even. Is, is that what happens? Is that how they stick in the ground still? Uh, wait, was it like that at our field? Or the field at, at, yeah, at our home field, it's like that, but I'm not sure if it was like that at Bristol. All right. Um, who, who's who's up? Uh, who, who's up next here on the mic? I, oh, what's your name? Right. What's your name, buddy? Anthony Ferrari. Anthony Ferrari. <clears throat> what position do you play? Uh, back up first base. All right. First base. That's a tough job. Do you like batting or do you like feeling better? We go like. Yeah. You, you know, your responsibility is to catch all those bad throws that Evan Blake throws you. And I saw him. I saw him throw, I him yeah. saw, throwing sidearm. He was hot dogging it. You know, kind of like gunning over like that. That, land, that lands in the dirt. You got to scoop that up. Yeah. Right? That's a difficult That's, job. Tommy mostly plays first. Tommy, well, you right, but yeah, it yeah, goes for yeah, any yeah, first base yeah. position, right? This is a lot of pressure. Yeah. You got to, you know, if the ball gets overthrown yeah. or whatever, you got to make a decision whether to hold it, whether to throw it back to the pitcher. I mean, it's it's tough. Yeah. What are you gonna remember from all this? Well, just like um, playing other games and just like being on ESPN. I know that's so. I mean, that's something you guys will get to brag about for the rest of your lives. Right. I've never been on ESPN. Right. We know Slater hasn't been so. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm Carl Ravage. What are you talking about? Yeah. Um, right. When you like, you know, you go to like the eighth grade dance or whatever. Like, uh, you guys are in eighth grade. How? Yeah. What grade are you guys in? Seventh. Seven. 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 Right. So, is there still an eighth grade dance? Yeah. yeah. Right. So when you ask someone to go, you're gonna be like, I'm not on ESPN, right? I mean, you can't say no, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Who's up? Thanks, Anthony. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. Who, who's up? Who's up next? Oh, Has everybody is that, been is up to the mic? Yes. 
Excellent. Wow. Well, I tried not to make this as awkward because yeah, I can get awkward. You know, Marjo's. I don't know if you guys notice that he's a little awkward. Mar- Marjo's kind of the normal one, but. Uh, <laughs> and that's that's a bad you, thing if I'm the normal one. Do you guys have anything you want to say to your your, sta- your coaches and your staff and, and uh, anyone listening on 95.9? You know, you had tremendous support here in Pittsfield, and, and uh, you guys should really, yeah. really, really be proud of yourselves. I'm serious. Uh, I'm just really happy and all my coaches, and we really got Pittsfield's name out there. So, I mean, hopefully it helps out the town a lot. So, thank you for coming. That's right. Huh? <laughs> I love this kid. What he say? He said, add me on Snap. Oh, my God. Oh, that's fantastic. Pittsfield Americans, and um, we'll take a, a short break. Yeah, congratulations again, guys. You made us all very proud. Yeah, that's right. And how was it like riding on the fire truck? All right. Well, uh...